Have you ever wondered how does a child learn a language? The child has come as a clean slate in this world. It doesn't involve or enroll in any professional course, right? All it does is immerse in the language and try and remember and imitate the sounds that he hears. He often gets inputs, repeated inputs from the members of the family. Now, as children grow up, it is our desire that they should learn more about that language. But we are often not sure what is that more that we want those children to learn. Is it one, words and spellings, two, grammar, three, figures of speech, four, memorizing pieces of classical literature and their author, or fifth, the ability to develop an idea and to express that in as effective and as creative manner with as much ease as possible. If you sit and think about this, I think we all want our children to be led to the fifth point. However, we always end up getting lost in spellings, in grammar, in memorizing those pl classical pieces of literature and not really achieve our goal. Language is just a medium of expression. So while it is important to know the words, the grammar, the structure of the language, ultimately it is the present day usage of the language as a means of communication, which is of utmost importance. We believe that a language is just a medium of communication. And if one is able to communicate one's thoughts and ideas effectively, thus trivial errors of grammar of spellings of diction don't really matter much. It is said that a language is able to grow and sustain only if it is dynamic, only if it is able to modify itself to suit the needs of the people. Historically and even today, you would have noticed how language is used as a tool for excluding people. It is misused to suppress the rights of people to express their ideas and opinions. We believe that language should be inclusive and bring about equity. To bring about the right for every human to be able to express his or her ideas and opinions. Therefore, a language course for us is not about grammar, spellings or diction. It is about the ability of a person to form ideas, to form thoughts, and to be able to express them with ease and efficacy. So now the question would arise that how would you create a course in language on this platform? If you agree that language is just a collection of words and words are just expressions of ideas, then all you need to do is select a topic or a theme and just allow for its expression. This expression could be in the form of a story, a media gallery, a collection of visual expressions, a poem, a song, your collection of thoughts on that topic or a forum discussion. And you need not limit to just any one format. You could choose from a suitable mix of all the previous formats suggested. Gone are the days when language was taught through textbooks, where it was compulsory to learn five stories, four poems, one autobiography, one travelogue and so on. Each of you has the liberty to pick and choose what comes best to you. And we are confident that this will benefit the children more than any formal structured course on language. So go on. Put on your thinking caps and be as creative as you can. In this digital age, where the dividing lines between text and media have blurred, the communication channels have opened up, become more participative, more accessible and therefore more effective. Let's create an effective course on languages.